in search of an idea. So I'm revisiting an old manuscript from 12 years ago. Today, it is November 2023. It was August 2011 when I had finished a manuscript and then prepared to seal it with this preface. Preface, the false beginning. What need have we of you? The book is already written. Eons had passed before you were born. Yet now you will claim to have created the book. What a monster thou art, a specimen of the grossest megalomania, as though everything started here with you, when really it was already finished there. Having typed the final part, having really been a medium for a book that wrote itself, shall I loop around to the front now to take credit for the deed, to claim the book my own, as though everything proceeded according to my intentions, that the flower bloomed of a seed of my design. Complications aside, what is needful? In effect, I still lack a summary of the vital parts of this book that I want for purposes of communication and condensation. I think the effort of writing this book was necessary for me, as you'll see. But reading the whole thing may not be needful for you. Hmm, probably bad marketing. To be sure, you'll want to read this book to most fully understand what I have said. I'm just wondering whether parts of it can be explained independently of the whole, especially the more technical ideas. Can some of the mathematical notions, for example, be abstracted or be extracted from the human language whence they arose? Are these amphibious mutants fit to walk on dry land alone? Or must they remain children of the sea attempts, but not final products of the evolutionary churn? Shall they be consigned back to the miasmic swamp? Or can they be cleaned off? made shiny for the presentation to those whose eyes penetrate not the thickest of fogs and most absolute of moistures, the unbearable humidity and still overcast skies. I see the sky, every star in it as... <laughs> I see the sky, every star in it is as clear to me as the sun, just as bright. Hmm. Every star in it is as clear to me as the sun, just as bright. But do the ideas cut through the clouds? This is the test, and surely not the final one, to those encountering my writing for the first time. Probably no amount of prehistory can prepare you. You simply have to dive in. And whether you experience only the lethargy of the fog, or the joys of flight is up to you and not up to you. I can't really tell you whether you'll remain adrift in the doldrums or glide through the dome of sky guided by the power of rockets.